How's it going, everybody? It's Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I probably missed it, buddy. My bad. Uh, chat delay. Okay. We've got bottom left. We've got a full case of 2020 Bowman Chrome HTA divisions up in the top. Good luck, everybody. Anybody needs anything graded, please let me know as we go so I can put them right onto the logs. And Ronnie will get them onto the site this weekend. HTAs are not that easy to get out here. Well, when you hear that music, you know that the trivia question answer is coming. And what are the only three AL teams the Yankees haven't faced in the postseason? Right, so, what do you think, David? White Sox? Blue Jays. Gotta be another. That was mine. Another AL. Boom, boom, boom. Bach? Well, you have Francisco Alvarez, so I wouldn't say the worst. Uh, NL Central, I think, is the weakest, though. Yeah, I think NL Central's the weakest. And they still have some decent names you can pull. Overall. You can't do it. You can't, man. The best recorded dismount on an HTA case, Stevie. It's like a 4.4. They're just packed in there, bro. Ageless Miguel Cabrera, three-run home run this stuff. Nice. Just made up after that big wall they had. Good point. Yeah, they have to, right? They sure have the same. I mean, they were throwing haymakers. Hey, it was a love fest when Roger Clemens became a Yankee. That's true. When they chased him, they hated him. And then he hated them and he hit them. So Romine just walks into the clubhouse, first day of spring training, says, What's up, Miggy? We good? <laughs> Did you? Oh, okay. A little insider knowledge. So there's gonna be brackets this year. Mike's calling a super. So they got brackets this year. Right now, it changes all the time. We shall see. Good luck, fellas. And the Rays against the Jays. And on the other side, Brewers, Dodgers, Cardinals, Padres, Marlins, Cubs, and Reds and the Braves. The American League is in California after the first round, and the National League will we be We have a blue to kick us off. Taylor Jones out of a buck 50. Nice blue. AL West mojo. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great, I think. Stack these over here. The free for all. Like so, and now I can put my divisions as we go. Luis Matos, nice card, NL West. I think we're all in agreement. I know Top prospect for San Fran in this Levi stuff. Padres and Padres. Levi Kelly, NL West again, out of 99. I'm all for them. Those are, those are cool stuff. Pack number two. This guy had an identity oh, crisis for a while. Like... <laughs> Remember, they... A little yeah, purple on the top here. Right. Changing their colors. And... Okay, Paul Rashawn, AL Central on the board out of 250. AL Central for Mike. Ryan Pipois, whatever the heck you want to say that. NL West again. And Alex Vasilla, National League East on the board. Four of the six divisions have hits now. AL East, NL Central, Skunkola thus far. Of the glove and it stayed in. <laughs> Lucky he didn't lose that one. Like one of those Velcro balls, you know? You play with your kid. Yeah. It just sticks. Okay. Shenton. It's the AL West again. Seattle, nice refractor out of 499. 
341 out of 499. Double fillers here. Francisco Alvarez, NL East. David! He just came up. There you go, buddy. Top name for the Mets. That's a clean 10, too. Throwing 100, too. Yeah, it is, Steve. Loving it, though. Loving it. Bottom auto, Lewin Diaz, another NL East. We mentioned Springsteen's birthday earlier. Solid name for the Marlins. That's the now 27 home run kid from last year. Right now he's nice NL East break Here's so far. <laughs> the Francisco, you got it. Probably written, probably written another album during this game. <laughs> Set in the grade stack. Is that red? Woo, we got some red shimmy shimmy. This is the Judge first red I've one. pulled out of this year's Bowman Chrome. Pulled a super before we hit a red. And it goes to the St. Louis Cardinals, Juan Torres. Five out of five. That is sharp. And that's a solid prospect, man. Beautiful. So Dave, with those two worst divisions, has the best card and the second best card. Five out of five. Nice Torres. Oh, I hate Yes Network, Steve. It's so bad. Nice Torres, buddy. Pretty card. All right. Taylor Jones, AL West. The Strohs. Bottom card, Ricky Vanesco, AL West again. The Rangers. You got it. PSA or BGS, Dave? Damn, orange insert auto coming up. Prime Chrome 6. Xavier Edwards at a 25. Tampa Bay. AL East finally on the board there. Beautiful card. Former Padre prospect, right? Xavier Edwards. Torres again for St. Louis. And El Central. Got a red and a base. And Bryant Packard. So every division has hits now. Detroit Tigers. Dodgers Giants. Just make sure you got everything right thus far. We're good. Halfway point of the case. Number six right here. The Torres, Kevin. It is a pretty nice looking auto. Nothing magical about it. Tanaka struggled. The defense betrayed him. Not the way you want to be playing heading into the postseason. Guys, back to you. We'll see you on the post game. Damn, gold. True gold. Dylan File, National League Central for David. I don't know anything about Dylan File. Beautiful true gold, though. 49 out of 50. Really nice stats from this kid, actually. Wow. 15 and 6, 136 Ks, 324 last year. Dylan File. So another one for the NL Central. Seth Gray for the Minnesota Twins, AL Central. And bottom auto, Dylan File. Dylan File base, Dylan File gold. Oh, Ricky on the Rangers. Yeah, he's got a nice save. Nice yeah, he does. The Nasco. Very nice auto. He takes his time. Blue on the bottom here. Indians are playing hot. Pedro Pagas. St. Louis. Wow. So there you have that. Indians. Hector Young, little strikeout pitcher in the Halo system. AL West, Stevie, another one for you. He definitely made good grades. And Blue Mojo, Bryant Packard, another Detroit Tiger set. AL Central, out of 150. That's also come along. 107 out of 150. Well, as long as it's a different color, Stevie. If you get two base of the same player in the case, I'd complain. Some blue peeking out. I think I know who that is, too. Damn. Another nice auto. Oh, man. True blue, too. Woo. 
you've scrambled all that up. You could be playing Chicago. You could be playing Minnesota. Who knows? Cleveland might even sneak in. Matos Blue, National League West. Nice hit. 52 out of 150. Very nice card. Husby. Pretty card, man. A little streaky ink on the Matos Blue. White Sox are a good team, so that'll be a difficult one to pull off. Matos base, damn. So here's Travis Shaw. Did the third Matos? Was there one earlier too? Oh my god. Well, that'll play. That'll play. Nice NL West, man. Solid. Three autos of Matos. And another blue underneath. Ethan Lindo for the Phillies National League East. 150. We'll do, Husby. We'll do, man. I assume. Just hit capacity. Owning a business means owning a lot okay, of them. Okay, next round. Spring opportunity too. Curtis Terry, my Chase god, I thought that was Laura. <laughs> AL West heart attack there. The Rangers. Delivery or shipping. And touch free ways to take Rookie Munoz, National League West. Yes, Crowder, I agree, buddy. One card for the AL East. We can help you be ready for whatever's next. See everything well, we Munoz. Sounds good. Let me just put him back in your stack there. I can't let anything hold me back. And Jonathan Stivier for the White Sox. The number one doctor recommended nice card. Three packs left. Nine autos to disperse. Every division's doing pretty damn well. Uh, AL East is struggling. The relief is real. Well, it's not the same as it was when you started. What's one great way to add a boost to your day? By one sample, Taylor Jones, Green Atomic out of 99. That's right. AOS. Astro. AOS is raking here. Middle Auto, Gunner Mayer for the Phillies. National League East. And Tyler Ivy for the Strohs again. Down to six left. Shows Toronto up 13 to 1 over the Yankees in the third game of this four games. AL East, you mean? <laughs> and as I look yes. at the Yankee bullpen, one Xavier Edwards so far. Eric Crouch trying to find something in there for you, Crowder. So we could uh, experience some Kratz magic here. I figured. Dylan File again. You got a base, a refractor, and a gold of Dylan File, Box. Hopefully he's a stud. Four ninety nine on the Dylan file. I've got a nice autograph too. Didn't notice it on the gold earlier. Oswaldo Peraza. There you go, Crowder. A little bit of help. Mid range Yankee prospect. And Drew Millis for the Oakland A's. More AL West. Final pack. Let's rock and roll. Ricky Venasco strikes again. I do think HTA definitely has more dupes. But that also makes sense because there's 12 more autos per case. So Venasco with Texas. Middle. Damn. Wow, Bach, you had a crushing break. Two Francisco's, the red and everything else that came out. Damn. Francisco Alvarez. Uh, might be able to run him back if you take two again. I don't know. We'll see what everybody else feels like doing. We can run it back if you guys would like to, though. And the last auto is going to be a purple Vaughn Grisham for the NL East. They slayed that break. 78 out of 250 on the Vaughn Grisham. Post in the chat, guys, if you want to run it back. Bach will take two. That means we only need four. I could probably be talked into taking one. Just let me know. Vaughn Grisham, NL East. There we go. Quick recap. NL West got a Munoz. Three Matoses, which will be heading off the PSA. Pipwa, Levi Kelly, and there's the other Matos. Pipwa. NL Central got the File, the Torres, Pagas, File. 
Ah, the file gold had a streaky ink, that's and why. Then, and uh, another uh, Torres, man. Really nice NL Central break. Said, we tried to get him for NL East, the Grissom, the Alvarez 1, Mayer, Alvarez 2, Lindau, Diaz, and Vasilla. AL East, got the short stick, Peraza and Edwards, Yankees and Rays, all the hit there. AL Central, Stibier, Packard, Gray, a little fuzzy on that gray, came right off. Packard and Rashawn, and the AL West had the most cards, ton of hits here. Venasco 1, Millis, Ivy, Jones, Terry, Jan, Venasco 2, Jones, Shenton, and Jones again. There we go. Were you talking about a guy 550 a spot. Okay, I think we have it full. Hold on. Dave's in, Stevie's in. That leaves three left. Crowder will hop in for one. Mike Bach will take one. Okay, Jaron, you would get the last spot if Husby wants to back out. Husby, you want to back out? Or do you want your original spot? If you want it, we're all running it back just as we are. So, guys, go ahead and get paid up. This is guaranteed either way. Just up to Husby and Jerry. And let me get these set aside. Certainly on the power side, the home run numbers and the slugging are up. Out? Okay. All right, everybody's in. Jaron, you got the last spot. Go ahead and send her on in. You got it. Well, Cashman was on the Sirius XM MLB radio. And he said about Boyd, he reminds me of an old timer. He's got a personality. He reminds me of Jerry the King Lawler. The old wrestler a little bit. He said, my numbers in AAA were unbelievable. I felt I deserved a chance. I didn't have that opportunity in St. Louis, and it was a salty Yep, feeling. 550. I got stuck behind good players. Matt Carpenter was up first. And Jed Jerko, who could play first and third. There really wasn't a spot for me. I could not hate this new Facebook more. This is just terrible. said when we acquired him we were buying the bat we believed in the bat but after we got him we were pleasantly surprised that we had this larger than life genuine player with great passion for the game okay so Stevie Marley uh, got loot to say I was always I always played with a chip on my shoulder to prove people wrong I played with many really good players in the minor first rounders and I would say to myself I'm just as good as these kids it's been a great story this year he's been that good one two two and two Yankees down 13 to 1. Boyd in 208 games for the Yankees, 